Hello. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Is now still a good time to chat? Yes, yeah, great. Whereabouts, whereabouts are you? In the world? I'm in New York right now. New York, okay, got it. So yeah, um, how can I help? Yeah, so I was speaking to Mark. Mm -hmm. um, I have my own apparel business mm -hmm. based in the UK. I'm from the UK. Mm -hmm. I sent him the link. The, the whole kind of inspiration is black, black British culture, mm -hmm. simple, like really good quality, ideally black clothes. Mm -hmm. um, and it's mostly not loungewear, but like leisure wear. Okay. Um, and what I want to do um, now, because I've previously been drop shipping, mm -hmm. um, but now I feel like I want to launch a collection over the spring summer, okay. which is um, a couple of pieces um, where I can have stock. But because I'm still a very small business, I only want a little bit of stock. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to actually produce the clothes, not necessarily as design, mm -hmm. but like find a really, really good suppliers in China mm -hmm. and be able to order stock and get it to the UK. Mm -hmm. Got it. And yeah, I'll be in touch. Perfect. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And question. Yeah. How do you pronounce your name? It's Naiki. <laughs> Naiki. Yeah. Or you can just call me Nai. Okay. Well, that's what I mean. When I think of you, I feel like you're, what you're doing is a career. But from my point of view, I feel how I it's definitely second nature though like i don't i do have to pinch myself sometimes and say shit like i'm actually doing what i want to do and what i've been trying to do all these years yeah um i think that's because you've been doing it so long though yeah and to be like, honest i literally stopped doing school and was like this is what i'm doing and it's pretty much not been a pause of not doing this even when you're in Birmingham, you were still doing it in some iteration yeah it's just it's, at this point it's second nature to me and I, yeah. I genuinely don't feel like i could leave this industry if i wanted to i mean look i've tried to quit so <laughs> many times i know what would i do but also i just get emails constantly with people asking me to do work yeah. so really am i really gonna be able to leave this industry <laughs> i mean there's a steady influx of work that you know you can also do pretty much at this point instinctually so like the energy level even that you give to those things aren't necessarily even too invasive if that makes sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like someone coming to you and be like i need a jogging bottom and i want it to be in velvet and, and i want this and that like that's not necessarily taking too much energy it's not taxing mm -hmm. it's like well i just know how to do this in my mind mm -hmm. and i know exactly when it's going to be ready Mm -hmm. and it's gonna be ready then and like whereas yeah so i guess yeah a lot of it is probably second nature like so when you do get this phone calls it's kind of like well that's kind of easy money like, yeah exactly how am i gonna like turn that easy money like doing and stuff is easy money and that's also your bread and butter yeah like mm -hmm. a lot of your bread and butter isn't too yeah labor intensive mm -hmm. which i think potentially is also why a lot of what you do does feel like um instinctual and like just second nature because you're not necessarily always getting that jolt of like this is fucking creative and mm -hmm. you love this shit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like david was good for that because he often came around where like he needed just that quick jolt of like yeah oh yes we get to use velvet exactly because it's like we're still potentially doing very similar silhouettes like it's a suit it's not like but we're doing it in a fabric where it's like even that one that had the fringing it's like i get to really flex yeah my making muscle yeah and showing muscle and seeing well one like what's really happening there mm -hmm. and even feel that like energy of like anxiety where it's like fuck can i even do this it's like i don't even know if i can do this but like so exciting it's exciting yeah it's just nuts that sometimes like when when you say i get it but like it really is not to think like when I'm giving a 24 hour job that almost looks impossible to finish because <laughs> I have another fucking job to do it. You do I'll it. Bang this shit out <laughs> and, and finesse the entire thing and give you a whole entire look and vibe. 
Mm-hmm. But when it's by my, I'm, you know, it's, I have too much time to think when it's by myself. So I have too much time to second guess stuff. Yeah. When it's for a project and when it's like a quick turnover, mm-hmm. I have to be fully instinctual because ultimately it's like, even if you don't like that line, you don't have time to go back and do it. Or yeah. You don't have time to be here for 10 minutes figuring out if it's good or not. Like you got you got to figure it out and you got to be okay with it. Yeah. So it's like, I just want to get to the point where I don't think about a lot of stuff. If that makes sense. Not in a way of yeah. avoidance, but when it's just a way of like... That's your main you know, thing, is that you're in your head a lot. Yes. And sometimes just chill in it, but obviously it's easier said than done. No, 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 but this is the thing, it's like, <laughs> before I'd be like, it's easier said than done, being in my mind, being like, I'm not even going to fucking attempt. Mm-hmm. But the more I attempt to do it now, even yesterday, like, I was like, do even I'm, I'm living this right now because obviously the weight loss journey thing yeah obviously it i can't do it by myself i've really i realized i come to the conclusion that i can't do it by myself which yeah. is why i've got my cousin to help me and i'm paying her so that is affecting my pockets therefore i have right. to take it properly because no, we ain't <laughs> take it seriously money. exactly i don't have money to waste and so that's the sort of extreme that I've had to go to in order to take this seriously. She's just done my meal prep this morning and I'm even oh now... Oh love it. I'm even like, I don't know if I could do this, but... We've... <laughs> <laughs> it's so true though, like, the reason why I'm laughing is because I've definitely been in, in instances where it's like, I've made a decision mm-hmm. and I'm okay with the fucking decision I made mm-hmm. and I pretend she's been doing it for a while, but then something randomly clicks in my like, it becomes a bit too raw and it's like, <laughs> can I even, wait, am I, but this is like a long term thing. Yeah. Can yeah. I really do this? Exactly. And for me, you just got to force, like, you've got to no, fake that shit. I, you do. I told my friend, I was like, sometimes as traumatizing as it may feel to force yourself to do something you pretend you don't want to do in that morning mm-hmm. moment you fucking have to Gotta this, do is how you do, this is how you develop habits that sacrifice mm-hmm. of like that little bit of emotional distress for the betterment of yourself mm-hmm. you have to force it because do ultimately it. you've been doing something else for 20 years that has not been then, working <laughs> that has not worked <laughs> and it's also potentially been a fucking detriment right and then now become like, it's such a habit, you think it's personality trait at this point, and that's how long you've been doing it. <laughs> so it's like, it's going to take a long time to rewire that. Mm. So like, it's not going to be like, oh, I've done this for a month, but perfect. It's like, no, that six month mark, you're going to probably fuck up a few times and come back to it. Like, it is that constant, like, everyday commitment to like, we've just got to do it. Literally. This is what I tell myself too. Don't get twisted. Like, I tell my friend, my friend was like, Oh yeah, but you're active, so it must be easy. Red to turn. I was like, please do not get this. <laughs> this is an active, everyday thing of like, you just gotta do it. You just gotta run. Mm-hmm. You gave yourself yesterday off, and you promised yourself that because you gave yourself yesterday off, you would run today. Mm-hmm. So you actually have to run today. Mm-hmm. And it's that thing of like, it's fine to like negotiate with yourself. Negotiating is fine. No one ever said it wasn't fine, especially if you're negotiating with yourself or not. Mm-hmm. So it's like. If I don't go to it myself and I'm okay with the fact that I'm not going to do it today, I must do it on the day I said I'm going to do it. Even if I do it in the evening, right before bed, because I have to like tell myself that like the promises I make to myself are very important. Yes. Hey Manuel. Hey man, you you alright? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. How's your day? Oh man, it's I feel like I've done nothing. I've got nothing done. <laughs> Fish. Sad. So, my question is, what? I whip my hair back and put that in my hair. Which hair? <laughs> this one. <laughs> well, um, so you finish cutting. Um, uh, tomorrow you're gonna start sewing. Um, mm. what? Which way are you, which order are you going in? I want to go t-shirt, oh no, I can't do trikes because it's not elastic. So I might do, I might do jumper first, like the, yeah, jumper first. So the sweater. When I'm still, you know, nice and strong and focused, yeah. <laughs> so you're going for and the then... hardest one first, apparently the hardest. Hmm? You're going from, 
for the hardest one first. Yeah. I feel like usually if I go for the hardest first, it doesn't seem as hard as it is. Yeah. No. I like your way of thinking. Um, um, about the mindset, you know. So we're, go we're doing the sweater first, then what you do next? And then sweater, and I might do t-shirt to finish the day. Mm-hmm. And then mm -hmm. we'll do comes to then try kids because I haven't got elastic yet. Unless the elastic comes tomorrow, I'll do, I'll do uh, track this tomorrow. I mean, bombs tomorrow. Okay, and then you're going to do the track bottoms. Guess what? Just come in handy twice Bye. this week. Let me show you. You're going to be so happy. Is that my baby? That's your baby. Um, <laughs> why? The inquiry for it or something? Yes, catalog purchase. Um, oh, two like orders. Two orders. Two. For Dunning. Yeah. Different customers or the same person? Different customers. Oh shit! I know that's strange. So one has been um, conf well. I'm, I'm about to invoice him now. Um, <sighs> He is just having a sample at the moment in order for him to get some pre-orders so we can order a bulk run. How many is he? How many what? How many is he wanting to order? No bulk? idea. No idea, but obviously the minimum is 50, so that will be the minimum. Uh, Great thing is that it's very clear that the catalogue is going to work. Mm-hmm. I just can't, we just need to get it up and running. Mm -hmm. So as soon as, um, we Vic love it, yeah. exactly. So as soon as Victor is finished with, um, Herbe Noir, mm -hmm. I'm going to get him to do all the amendments for the catalog. And then we're, oh, we're going to have to figure out a way to twirl whilst we're do doing orders. Uh. Um, there's Herbe Noir samples. Oh yeah. There's, uh, Lloyd's orders, order need is actually the first priority that needs redoing yeah and then there's i oh no there's not there's why fit uh-huh there's the cape crewy jerome's thing and you want 300 <laughs> and then there's butt lady oh yeah so that's five that are waiting to be started in march wait did butt lady need her support march though <laughs> What? Darling, Chinese New Year, not gonna happen. She, she, she knows I mean, yeah, she's aware. I let every single client know what the score is as soon as I know. Well, they know. That's the one thing I don't play with. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye. Gonna be all right, maybe we gonna be all right.
Low wolf in his bush drapes in the sign of goods. Cause the eye by bees feeling me, but I'm good. I just chuck nerves, kick it, then a nigga chuck wood. Said she wanna be my girl, I don't know if she should. The boy bought the business, check the busyness. Bug in the car, that been around, ain't dizzy yet. Yeah, got a chip on my shoulder, but it gets like that. Cause when they tell it, yeah, he said it, but wasn't said like that. Oh, well, you learn like that. poppers on the wrong way these ones are supposed to be on here and these ones are supposed to be on there so because they've done it wrong I had to do it wrong and no yeah so this looks very strange and anyone that knows this kind of work it would look more strange to us than it is than it would look to the average person <laughs> Luckily, it's just the first sample, so um, we can rectify this before production.